what's going on youtube this is bruce with bruce custom motors bring you guys another video all right guys this is gonna be on my secret hacks series my secret hack series i'm gonna put some links in this video so if you want to see more of my secret hacks make sure you press the link so right now i'm going to show you two secret hacks that you probably didn't know about your audi are hacks that can help you tremendously with your audi so without further ado here we go So the first hack is going to be a simple hack, but weirdly, a lot of people just don't know about this hack. So if you go right over here now, mind you, I do have an RS nav, so I'm going to go into the traditional mode for the individuals who don't have an RS nav. So if you do have an RS nav, you just go right over here to the Audi MMI system. And you press that. So now we're going to be in the traditional Audi menu. So this is where a lot of people are going to see with the B7, B8, B9 Audis. So once you go to the traditional Audi menu, you wanna come right over here and you wanna go to media, all right? So once I put media, you wanna go to where it has your source. So once you are actually on the media screen, you wanna go, you have source and you have sound. So that's gonna be the screen that you wanna go on to. As you can see right here, my car says external audio source is active if you guys want to know how to activate the external audio source um, please let me know and i'll drop a video on how to do so so assuming that you already have your bluetooth connection hooked up to your vehicle and rs nav or the external audio source so let me explain what the external audio source is so remember in my other video this is going to be an external audio source so this is going to be um, my Bluetooth device that get, enables Bluetooth for me. Um, and this is gonna be in B8.5 through B8.6 going backwards. The B9s have the Apple CarPlay, et cetera. So you really don't need this external audio source in a B9, but this is what they're talking about. Need to be a media player, et cetera. This is exactly what they're talking about. So once I come back over here, once you're on this actual screen, you're gonna go right over here to setup. So you see right here, you're going to go to setup and you're just going to hold down setup. So as I hold down setup, I have auxiliary input level. All right, guys. So this is going to be where you can adjust your input level, basically. So if you want your input level to be louder or lower, this just basically adjusts the input level. So what I'm doing right here. Is I'm just basically scrolling this right here. And as I scroll that, you can see. So anytime that you put on a Bluetooth device or if you have an RS nav, which is external, or any kind of output, this is pretty much how you adjust the level to whatever that source gives you. So let's say if this is connected to your phone and it sounds really low and you're not getting a lot of sound quality you wanna come over here to the input level and you wanna make it a lot louder. That way you'll get the full sound. A lot of people don't know that and they will use an external device via Bluetooth and they'll feel that the sound quality is just not there. So this is how you adjust the input level. And like I said, if someone wants to know if for whatever reason you can't see the external source on your screen, I can definitely drop a video on how you can get the external audio source if i get enough likes and if i have people that comment that want me to do so all right guys so hack number two is probably going to be a simple hack that i'm sure maybe 80 to 90 percent of you guys know about but there's some people that don't know about it so don't shoot me for showing you this hack i've literally helped three of my friends with their vehicles and they didn't know about this hack so i just want to show it to you like i said i'm sure some of you guys know about this but I'm gonna go ahead and show you anyway. So you wanna go right back over to car. So once you go to car, you're gonna come right over here and you're gonna go down. And you're gonna come over here to windshield wipers, right? And so once you click windshield wiper, 
you have service position on and service position off. So as you can see, my service position is off. So if I put it on, as you can see, now I can service my windshield wipers. I know, I know, most of you guys know about this, but if I can get one person that they know about this, that now knows about it, it's well worth it. So that's going to be hack number two. If you guys want more videos on more fun hacks, please like, comment, share, subscribe. Once again, this is Bruce with Bruce Custom Motors. Peace, I'm out.